here's what we've got so far uh, modeling this uh, Sony Walkman and I'm gonna, it's time to make some changes to this thing first of all I want this thing rotated so I'm gonna rotate Z90 minus why didn't you tap me there we go I want to do that and bring it up so it's like that okay I'm gonna be working on this front piece um, when I look at the front I also want to uh, be able to see the diagram so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this just got to figure out which one it is this one It's going to be like that. So I'm going to want that. Okay, so this front piece, I am going to copy it, Shift D, and I'm going to hide that and make it so I can't select it for now. So I want that front piece. I'm going to Shift H. Only want to see that, and I want to see that. Okay, here we go, guys. Looking from the front. Or from the side, whatever. Yeah, that's fine. Let's go into it. And I want to get rid of this edge here. We're going to start setting up some edge loops here. So there's a piece down the middle. And again, it's roughly going to follow this. There it is down there. Okay. I'm going to bring this piece in separate, so I'm just going to create these regions. And they don't have to be exactly the same. Now, piece is going to I'll give you that. line and down to there and then there's another section right here um, not sure I think I'm gonna do it this way Again, it's not going to be exactly the same, but it'll be, it'll be something. 
Um, I should probably set this up right now too. Let's see what we can do here. So, okay. What I might do all this. I think all of this is raised above. We'll see if it goes all the way down. flush with that doesn't it it's a little a little tricky for me so at what point I could take it from there and then try to push that down this piece is flush with that so I can take all of this at the same level along with that. Let's see if I can figure that out. In other words, all of this. a small gap isn't there but that's the edge of that I could still do it that way let's have a look at this I could just raise that up let's try this that's why we copied it If I did that, let's see what are those? It's not fully the button yet. Well, I need another edge loop right there while that works out. Inset just a little bit. I want to pull these in. <clears throat> for space for those buttons. That's going to be separate. Spaces, and then I'll do the buttons. little bit rounded and I'm not sure I feel like doing that. It <clears throat> could be done but uh, be a hassle. I might just grab this space. It's awfully close to there but if I inset it
just do that. Might be a bit odd, but we could try it. Say, hey guys, it's a Walkman. Is it the exact Walkman? <laughs> I might just live with that. Yep, let's save that for now. <clears throat> let's have a look back here. See if I can still get that circle in there. So I would need another one of these and another one of these and let's just go for it, man. I inset. Fancy shaped buttons, just rectangles, maybe some of that stuff. Let's try one. You know what? I think I'm going to, if I can get a nice loop so I can center, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna build a new one. And I have, I'll bring it in as a plane. and flip it around. So 
so it's quite a lot of space and I can think about these dots these could be the same size I hope let's push that out a bit more now can these just be beveled or do they have to be surface and I do round them. I don't know if I want to do that though. Let's just see how well this would fit. Actually I could see relative to that how far they come out. Say like they come out past that, eh? Okay, leave it like that for now. And this is just a long one here, right? So let's try this. So we're just getting a sense of seeing how well this would fit. Leave it like that for now. I'm just, I think I'm, I think I'm going to be satisfied with those buttons like that. I do. Maybe with some of that texture on it, though. And I think um, I better think about these. This one, I can't quite tell the shape of it have to be a weird button those of you who have the walkman i don't i just want to kind of make a a, a a rectangle and stick it in there can i get away with that I don't 
something on this side. I don't know. No, leave it like that. Maybe that's what it does. Oh, that's what it's doing now. shouldn't be doing it this way. But it could be done this way. You know, it could be. It doesn't look that convincing, mind you. Yeah, maybe it does. like a separate piece of what the heck kind of shape is that I don't know it's gonna take me a minute to think about what the hell that is um, let's come in here 
mind of taking something like that. Let's let's take that out of there. Let's break it out. And turn off the subdivision surface on it. And see if there's any way. Let's can I hide that? No, I didn't know that word I do. Okay, let's bring everything back for a minute. Let's shift H on that. And I think it's that one. And just see where we are at. Just do it like that, that part. And yeah, it's a little tough to see what it does, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to wing it to some extent. Um, okay, let's. Okay, so let's just let's just do something here. It, I'll make that stuff come up. I'll we'll angle some stuff and we'll just, we'll just do that. So um, let's get out of wireframe and let's just do this. I can extend it too after that. So let's let's take the whole thing, give it a little bit of thickness first of all. And then let's take these pieces here and let's extrude them. And then what are we going to do? Hmm. In the top area, are we coming out of both of them? Or just the bottom there? Just the bottom. We're going to extrude out. up here. Control B. Pull. It'd be so easy to just no oh, we can we could we can grab the fronts, I suppose. No, 
if I just do that and I extrude them out like that, it might be a little hard. Let's try a one. something out of this I think let's get in some edge loops in the right places software going as well it uh, makes it a little bit tough on the machine sometimes how much detail you want to put in this I mean this is not complicated modeling but it's you know how much should we do here now can I bring one up and is it worth it I don't want too much pinching here I think I want you though doing that I think I would be okay with something like that Let's just bring everything else back and see um, which piece is that. That's the good piece. So let's hide that. Let's take this. No, can I not select you? to the level not quite so I might be all right with something like that anyhow maybe I'll straighten out the backs let's just try uh, two of these side by side and see how well they fit maybe they could be a bit bigger <clears throat> they go under anyhow they're higher up there It's a mess now. All right, let's let's uh, let's see anyhow though. So I would need this, and this, and this, and this, this, and this, and could that be enough? Yeah, I think I think it'd be nice if. To leave that one if I extruded this down. I did it like that. Let's do this then, Shift H. Let's get rid of uh, these bottom faces. And uh, let's get rid of the back faces as well. Space. 
that's what I'm going for. That's what I'm going for. Now what about these dots? That would really blow a lot of polys. Um, I still have to do this piece. Let's do that first. Yeah, that's good enough. And then I'm going to bring in a brand new plane. Rotate Y90. Scale it down. And I'm going to make a little area that I like. I'm just going to put it in there. And we're just going to mess with this. We're not going to follow proper procedure at all. We're going to do booleans. And we are going to make n-gons. And that's fine with me. Control B. Put some edges in there. Let's take this one. Put some edges in there. Not too many, but like that. I'm going to do that kind of thing. Shade smooth that guy. I'm going to get rid of the back, but not yet. I'm going to do it like this. Get rid of the back. And I'm going to punch holes in that. Let's uh, set the origin and geometry on that. And person selected. And let's bring in uh, cells a cylinder with um, like 18. I hope that looks okay. Zoom in on this guy. Let's rotate Y90. Bring this up here. And I want—I can want to make too many of these. It's gonna go like this. All right. And let's apply rotation and scale. And let's array this. I guess we're going to be arraying in the Y. Like that. Okay. And we're going to array in the Z. Let's go ahead and apply that and that. Let's just I'll view those right now. Let's make sure all my polys are facing my right way. This might be a drag to do, but <clears throat> let's add a Boolean difference with respect to these guys. Apply. Take these. Let's hide them for now. And we have this. And before I do anything, let's try. Oh, I don't know if it's worth that. Let's do this instead. Let's just grab all these uh, face polys and hit I to inset. We'll leave it like that. Take this and get rid of that face. Doesn't catch a lot of light. I think I'm gonna like that from a distance anyhow. Let's get rid of that. I can now take that and get rid of that front. That's my plan right there. 
And now I can put it wherever I want. I think we're ready to look at this with the cavity shader. We need a reward for all of that. I don't know. What do you think? Dying to do something there. We'll think about that. Okay, maybe we'll think about that for the next uh, the next video. Cool. Well, that's what we got so far. And hopefully it looks uh, like a Walkman. <laughs>